All right, so for this one, this is gonna be for a shirt. So like I said, load your image up. Check to make sure you're printing on the right side of your sheet. Do your little scratch test right there. Got the scratch through. Let's go ahead and send this over to the printer. Same settings as before. Make sure you're on reversal printing. Ink volume same. Send it on over. Take our detail of image. All right, so the detail that we're using is called cold peel, which means after it's heated, you want to let it sit for about a couple of minutes until it's cold to the touch, then you're able to peel it. But they do have hot peel on the market, but we're using cold peel. So you take your shirt, slay it out, let it cool. While we're doing that, we go prep a white shirt. We're going to DTG the same image onto a white shirt. A lot of DTF out there cooling down before we come in here and do a DCG print for y'all. Same design, let's resize this image. Check this out and cure it. Got us a freshly printed DCG shirt. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like on the DTF. So once your DTF is cold to the touch, you're now ready to peel it off. You want to do a final cure on this. Throw that over your design. Give it one last press. You're going to be able to tell the difference. So you got yourself a DTF shirt and a DTG shirt. DTF, which means direct the film, which is that paper that we printed on, it's called film. And DTG is direct the garment, which is directly to whatever we printed on. Quality is amazing on both, as you see. Straight up. The only difference is into the feel of it. This has been another how-to video for your boys over at Humanities. Thank y'all for viewing. If you got any questions, comments, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, love yourself a little bit more today. You deserve it.